So let's do some Kathy Grant cats. Um, I love doing cats as a little warm up because it's usually the position I get into on the way down to doing some mat work. So um, come on down to an all four quadruped position and let's do some kitty cats. So um, the first cat is called the new cat in town. Kathy always had these really silly uh, names for her cats. And so the new cat in town was one of the last cats she made up. So Alana, can you um, really twist in your elbows for a second? Yeah, so that's what some people like to do. And she's gonna slowly, and if you're one of those people that are hyperextend, you're gonna internally rotate the insides of your elbows to face each other and go for a long spine. In theory, it's a flat back, but you want a little bit of curve in your low back and you want a little bit of curve right here in that nice upper back, yeah. Good, so staying there, you're just gonna do, the outside motion is very simple. It's a shifting forward and back, that's all it is. And just gonna, just get that motion going and you know, say hello to the body. That's what all these cats are, is just a nice warm up. And so as she's shifting forward and back, I'm gonna add a little nuance. You're gonna lengthen out of the top of the head as you shift back. Lengthen out of the tailbone, as if I could pull on that tailbone, she's gonna lengthen backwards as she shifts forward. That's all it is, just a couple more times. So you're creating just an internal opposition and while you're doing that, you're finding this great lift in the tummy. And for me, because I have a nice flat back here, I'm really working at lifting this up. Do that one more time, shifting forward and back. And lengthen and then come back to your center position. We're just gonna do a mini cat. You're gonna drop your head round your spine. Whoa. Really push the floor away. And even in that moment, try not to hyperextend in those elbows. Really enjoy that nice round of the back. Push down into the heel of the hand and maybe even your shins to increase that nice curve in your low back. You're gonna reverse your lower spine only. So it's as if I'm holding your rib cage and you're gonna reverse the lower spine from the waistline down just to about where, that's about it. And on the exhale, you're gonna zip tight jeans on to curl the pubic bone forward a couple more times. So reverse your lower spine only. And it should feel good, do it. You know, the cats were done at um, Kathy's NYU class early in the morning, so it's a warm up. So no bumping and grinding yet. <laughs> and then curl back underneath you. And then let's continue on to the hissing cats. You're gonna do a mini cat, so start to reverse, and you're gonna continue past the waistline this time to the bra strap or mid back, and as you go through this part, you're gonna to start to hiss to lift your head up. Really hiss through the mouth, exhaling, 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 good. And really looking up, you're gonna to sit toward the heels and go shh, yep. Sitting toward the heels, push into the heel of the hand. Yes, reach. Yes, there you go. Drop the head, round your spine with a rounded spine. Come up, let's just do that one more time. And if you don't like making that hissing sound, you can reverse your spine. So really start from that very bottom of the spine, all the way through. And when you get to your middle back, you're gonna hiss, and you don't have to make the loud sound, but do exhale through pursed lips. Yes, good. And then really exhaling, you're gonna keep, Kathy would say, spread the butt. Yes, yeah. Look, mom, I'm on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Drop your head and round your spine. At the end of the hissing cat, you just end sitting in yoga pose of the child. Just take a little moment. So now we're gonna go into restless cat. And as you come up on all fours, you're gonna really round the spine to come up on all fours. And for those of you with a longer torso, you might wanna crawl the hands a little farther forward. Yeah, and start to come forward with the hips as if you're trying to stretch the front of the hips toward the mat, as if you're going into a swan. And at the last moment, you're gonna go off toward the right and look toward, mm, so not there, not really too far to the side, but really bring the hips forward and you're gonna look toward the front corner of your mat. So keep going forward, let the hips go forward and lift the chin up toward the corner of your mat, that's it. And then you're gonna look for your tail as you swing your hips around to that same side, sit on your heels and relax the back. Let's do that again to the other side, come up with a rounded spine. Think of that front corner of your mat, right? And so as you go to the other side, you're gonna lift the chin up and stretch the jaw muscles and then swivel your hips to the same that side that you just looked toward. Do that one more set, come up with a rounded spine. Nice rounded back. And you're gonna come forward toward the right corner as you lift your chin, yes, and then swing your hips around, good. One more time, so again, on this last one, it's called the restless cat. So you're really just feeling what your spine needs and kind of letting it flow by thinking of looking for your tail as you come on out of it and just relax there for a moment and breathe. So the last thing is just a way to come up to kneeling. So 
The cue is, as you come up, you're thinking of bringing your hips over your knees as much as possible. So as you're coming up, your hands will get closer to your knees, and you're thinking of bringing those hips as far forward over your knees as you can. That's it, because we're coming all the way up to kneeling, so think about that. So then you can come to the fingertips, and then as you're coming up, you're really coming fully up to kneeling, but still thinking of hips coming forward, hips coming forward, hips coming forward, hello abdominal muscles, all the way up on those knees when you're ready, yes. And then just reach up to the ceiling, give me a big inhale, grab onto your right wrist, and just go for a nice side stretch. And I want you to feel that lift coming up out of the hips, yes. And then from there, think of your center as you come back to center. That's it, grab onto the other side and go away. Take the rib cage away from those hips and get a nice side stretch in there, good. Think of that center line of your body as you come up to reaching up to the ceiling. Give me a big inhale and exhale, release your arms. Feel a little warmer? Good, that's it.